way to anxiety. Just a fainting content. Are you here? Are you in the Sega's pride? Come and be. Oh, 
If you think there is a way I can try to repay All I've taken from you Maybe Lord, I can show someone else What I've been through myself On my way back
just one special, may we take our seats. Amen. Amen. I can't even walk without you holding my hands. Amen. Amen. One of the best songs I love. Amen. Because way back, we thought we could do it. Amen. Until we knew that the, you can't do it without the Lord. Amen. Amen. My prayer is, Lord, I know you can do without me. But I can never ever do without you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Give us keep you. Amen. 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 Just listen to the words. I thought that number one would surely be me. I thought I could be what I wanted to be. I could build on life sinking sand, but I can't even walk without you holding my Don't you feel humble?
road that you come to anything else without the Lord guiding you and holding your hand. I trust, trust in me, I've tried it. He does it right. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. As we invite Pastor Shoko, amen, to take over the service now. Hallelujah. Let's just sing, only believe our national anthem. Only believe. Why? Because all things are possible. Even now, that's this third minute, all things are possible. Hallelujah. Only believe, PD. Amen. Come to take 
died there. A man cannot speak. A man cannot speak. But you speak to me. I have got this problem. It might be a secret to you. Things that are always in your heart. May you address them today. As we sing that song, let us all enter into prayer in your own way. Let us pray, every one of us, in your own way. Father, how we thank you, Lord, this hour, as we come in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, Lord Jesus, you told Joshua, wherein the soles of thy feet shall tread upon. Father, I give you for a possession. Father, here we come. Lord, this is the grounds that we are in, oh, Father, Lord Jesus. And this is our territory. We are declaring, oh, dear God, we are de making declarations of our that our dear God, we possess this territory for your own glory, oh, Lord Jesus. Father, God, as we come, thou art God and God alone. Father, to whom will you like in you? Savior, Lord, we look up to you. Oh, Lord, even so come, Lord Jesus. Even so, come, Lord Jesus. Come now, oh dear God. Heal every sickness. Heal every sickness. Oh God, cast away every unbelief. Savior, Lord Jesus, we give you glory, oh dear God, today. Today. Jesus Christ. He is able 
able to do it. Saints, I will ask you once again to tell your of it as we pray for this sister here. Let us pray for this sister. As we pray, let us join hands. Let us bow our heads as we pray. Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. Father, this is a request that has been brought to us. She is confident that you are able to do it. That you are able to save her life. Father, there is no money. Oh, Lord Jesus. But Jesus can serve. Oh, without money, without price. We come here, oh, Lord Jesus. And offer this request. We remember that woman that had a blood issue for 12 years. The Bible says she wasted all her fortune, all her money to which doctors, to physicians. But yet, God, in contact with Jesus, Father Lord Jesus, she was made whole. Oh, we believe it, Lord. We believe, Lord. Oh, we believe it, Lord. Healing belongs to you. It does not belong to medicine. It doesn't belong to medicine. It belongs to you. Amen. Amen. God bless you, saints. May be seated. Uh, but before I proceed, uh, I want to call Brother Azam uh, from Norway. Is, is he in the house? Uh, is here. To share with us a testimony of what, of what is happening in Norway. So I will call upon you as we sing a song Only Jesus. Only Jesus, only Jesus can satisfy. Let the musicians help me. Jesus, only Jesus, only to tell them what is happening. What we will tell them is say, come and see. Amen. Amen. So, I will not say much. If you want to experience what you experience, come and see. Amen. 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 So, this has been a family prayer. When we first came in Norway in 2011, and we've been there for 10 years now, 11 years now, and we've been praying so hard that the Lord may start a revival, may start a message, believe in church, in Norway. Amen. Amen. And since we arrived as only one family in the whole city of Sunness, we could not find any believer but us, this one family of Ezekiel. Amen. Amen. And, wow. Well, We've been praying and praying and praying, not seeing results. But you know, now we understand God has always His time and season. Amen. 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 So we've been praying and, you know, we follow the scripture, you know, to attend to some churches. And so we tried to find some churches we couldn't find, but we find a group of people who gathered coming from different denominations and you know, they gather together and we say, you know what, let us join them. You know, instead of staying home and you know, listen to the tapes, it's fine. 
but you need to have fellowship with other people. Amen. Amen. So we did our duty, but the Lord was putting things in line. Amen. Amen. That's, we could not see what God was doing, but we were complaining throughout the way. Amen. But God was putting things online. Amen. 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 So we joined that church. It was a Baptist church. Amen. And they were having this, you know, Baptist teaching. But we continued going and meeting up. And eventually, you know, when you're a believer, you know, it's Christ living in you. Amen. Amen. You are the Word. Amen. So they see us. They see there's something different. Amen. Amen. The walk is different. Amen. The act is different. Amen. Amen. They can see a difference. They want to have it, but they cannot, you know, they just something holding back. Amen. Amen. Even though we we'll testify to them. Amen. Say, look, this and this and this. They say, no, I know what. We're going to leave it there. Amen. We're trying to influence them, you know, with the word, but God has always his own time. Amen. 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 So we continued and continued joining them, you know, started helping out a little bit in the song service. We're teaching sometimes we never get time to really tell them what we believe, but even though but God was working in us, He was using, He was waiting. And then I'm just going to give very, very short testimony. It's not going to be long. You know, through all those years, God was doing something. He was gathering believers. Amen. 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 He was gathering believers. Amen. Not from that city, but outside of the country, from Africa. And He was bringing them. Amen. He was bringing refugees who have never been in the message. Amen. Amen. And they would just come. And, you know, when they came, uh, my mommy works at this place where, you know, he received these refugees and they would help them. And they would see something different with this woman. And they would say, you know what? The way you, are, the way you speak to us, the way you help us, there's something different. Which church do you attend? We want to follow you. Yes. Amen. They were Pentecostals. They were Baptists. They were all in different denominations. They were saying, no, 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 no. We've been in these churches. We've been in our churches. But no, no, no. We've never seen something like this. Yes. Amen. That's the word. Amen. Reflecting. That's the word showing itself. Yes. Amen. Pulling. Amen. They say, you know what? Whatever we believe, we see a difference in you. There's something pulling us. Show us where you are, which church you attend to. Amen. Amen. And she said, you know, we go to this Baptist church and, and they, you know, they came and they followed. You know, okay. This, you know, when this denominational creed and teaching, you know, it doesn't touch your heart. You know, it went for a few years until... Uh, the sisters, can you sisters stand? Sister Larissa, Sarah, amen. until last year, amen, when they came here at the Hayes meetings, it was on a Christmas rise at the New Year's, and they came here, they were invited by Sister Janet, is that right? They were invited here, and you know, they were having this revive all these experiences and they, they met some of the ministers here and, and Brother Luke, they met Brother Luke and Pastor Teach and the other ministers that I don't remember and they asked them, you know what, you sisters I've never seen you here, which church, where, where do you come from? They said, we are from Norway and which church do you attend to? Uh, you know, we don't have a church. We attend to this Baptist church. And you know, how come you believe us? You are believers and you don't have a church to attend. And then, then yes, we, they explained what was going on. And they said, you know what? Amen. We are coming to know it. Amen. Amen. We are coming to start a revival. Amen. And I think in a few weeks, 
after and then they came this was brother teach and brother Luke they came to know him and they started to minister but this I've been reading this scripture but I, I'm just well, I, I'm just afraid to open this scripture <laughs> because it's so powerful Ezekiel 37 on the dry bones Ezekiel prophesying these dry bones oh my oh yeah Amen. 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 <laughs> you know, and they didn't realize when they came to Norway that the daddy of the family, his name was Ezekiel. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. And when they come, the first sermon that they preached to the family was from that scripture. Ezekiel 37. Amen. The dry bones getting flesh. Amen. Being prophesied. Amen. Dry bones in the valley. Amen. We were dry bones in the valley. But God came down and prophesied. Amen. Hallelujah. And he said, Son of man, can this dry bones live? Amen. Amen. What he said, Oh Lord, thou knowest. Amen. Amen. And he said, Prophesy unto this dry bones. Amen. And all the bones got flesh upon them. Amen. Hallelujah. Every bone came to each bone, they came together. And they stood and became a mighty, oh my, 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 amen. So what I'm saying is, after they came, amen, it just brought all those dry bones together. And all those new people who were attending to the Baptist church, remember, we had people who were member of that Baptist church who was gathering with us but when the ministers came and preached the word they saw they had faith Amen. you know this is we are talking about people who never went to school who don't know how to read you know they just believed Amen. Amen. nobody told them about brother Branham the message or anything but as the word was being preached, they believed. Amen. 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 So shortly, cutting it short, so you know, they help us to move, to separate us. Coming out from Pharaoh. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And we moved, separated us. Amen. Amen. Well my. And the most thing that is touching is that every new, every person that came, came with us to that new group, to that new believing church. And those people who, re, who usually met up at the Baptist, they remained. But those new people who believed they had faith, amen, they just followed God. Amen. Amen. And they just came. Oh my. And from that day, and we've been baptizing people after people. Amen. People receiving the Holy Ghost. Amen. We are talking about people who never heard about the message, but they had faith to believe and receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And lives have been changed. Amen. In these six months, six months, more than ten people have been baptized. What a revival. Hallelujah. We are talking about drying bones, amen, getting to life. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. And this is what is happening in Norway now. Amen. I will not say even more. If you want to see more, come and see. Amen. If you want to see 
more. Come to Norway. Go to Norway. Go to Norway. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Son of man. Son of man. Can these dry bones live? Thou knowest. Son of man. Can these dry bones live? Thou knowest. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, sometimes uh, it's good to, to give respect to where it is due. Uh, I want to honor my elders here, Pastor Mkangana, the man who is laboring for God. Amen. And I want to respect him. Uh, Amen. God bless you. God bless you, Elder, Pastor. It's um, it's always a duty. Uh, it was a duty to Paul when he went into a city. You would leave a place organized, not organized as in de as in denominations. You set up a church there to be orderly according to the word of God. And I respect elders like that. Amen. God bless you, saints. I want. I don't want to take much of your time. I know you are waiting, waiting for the preacher to come. But as you wait for the preacher to come, uh, it is good as we introduce the preacher to know that the Lord is in the house. He is the guest of honor. He is the unseen guest. Remember, when he came from the dead, when he came from the dead, he said, let me, let me read the scripture. It will be to you a, a few minutes. Revelation chapter 1. Give me Revelation chapter 1. Just a few minutes as we prepare for the preacher. Revelation chapter 1. Let's read from verse 17 and see what he says there. Now, when you think of how God even calling from nowhere. Now, God has said, I'm going to call a people for my name. He's going to call a bride. In fact, you are called Mrs. Jesus. I am called Mrs. Jesus. Did you know that when Adam sinned and God, Jesus, God wanted to redeem, to take back Adam to himself, what did he do? He took an animal. He shed the blood of an animal to take back Adam. But as for me, he never took the blood of an animal. He went himself to Calvary. His own blood was shed. Did you hear that? When, when Adam sinned, and the Bible says he was in the transgression, the woman was in the transgression. Adam went with it. And God could not afford to lose Adam. And for him to bring Adam back, he took an animal. The blood of an animal. But he didn't do that for me. He did not do that for you. He went himself. He came himself to Calvary by his own blood. Shed for me. Shed for you. Let's quickly read this scripture. Uh, verse 17 of uh, chapter 1 of Revelation, the most feared book, Genesis, books of the Bible, Genesis and Revelation by the devil. Let's read. Let's tie the devil right now. Let's tie him right now. The preacher is waiting. The preacher is here. Let's tie the devil. Amen. Verse 17. And when I saw him, I fell at his feet as dead. And he laid his right hand upon me. Saying unto thee, Fear not, I am the first and the last. I am he that liveth and was dead. And behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. And if the keys of hell and death, he comes around and he says, I have got the keys of hell and death. Now, where did he take the keys from? The devil. The devil is keyless. Did you hear that? The devil is keyless. The devil has no key.
keys for your life. That is what Paul, when he was going to be to, to be killed, he says, Oh death, where is thy sting? Oh grave, where is thy victory? All those things have no victory over you. The devil has no power over you. He is keyless. Let me say this, the devil is clueless. I'm not a history teacher, or, but I have seen a little bit of history. Now, in 1945, the Americans, uh, Harry Truman, the then president, authorized the dropping of the atomic bomb in Hiroshima. Now, the Japanese had attacked. Listen to this. Listen, listen to this. It's not about history or anything else. I am not trying to. Uh, say violence is good. But listen to this. The Japanese attacked the Americans in 1941. They attacked the Americans in 1941 in December, on the 8th of December. They attacked, and it was a surprise attack. How many have been surprised in their own lives? You go to the doctor, they tell you you've got diabetes. You to go to the doctor, that cough is saying you've got blood pressure. Have you been surprised by the devil? Many times we are surprised. You hear of your mother stroking. You have been surprised. There has not been any signs. Surprise attack from the devil. Now the Americans in 1941, they retreated. In fact, they tried to, to go into Japan to take street by street. But the Japanese were fear fighters. They were fear fighters. Defending their territory. They, the Americans wanted to defeat them, to take Japan. Now, the, the Americans, now it was 1941, the America, America was under uh, Franklin Roosevelt. The, the prophet says he was a dictator. Now, they retreated to make a bomb to destroy Japan secretly. Now, he died in April, the president, Franklin Roosevelt. Now, Harry Truman took over in 1945. And on the 6th of August, after they had given a warning to Japan that they must surrender, they gave them an unconditional surrender. The devil has been given an unconditional surrender. At Calvary, the devil was given an unconditional surrender. Oh, 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 oh. You must surrender. Now remember, Matthew 4, Jesus Christ sees that, sees that devil and is tempted. And he goes to Calvary. The devil say, says, no, maybe, maybe, maybe peradventure is the one. Maybe he's not the one. He's been given an unconditional surrender. Amen. Now on the 6th of August, I'm finishing. On the 6th of August, the Americans dropped an uranium bomb. 1945, 6th of August, in Hiroshima. And it wiped the entire city. And the Japanese were adamant. They were stubborn. They didn't want to surrender. They said, we will not surrender. We will not give up an inch of our territory. And the Americans sent again a, a, a warning. If we will wipe you out of the face of the earth, if you don't surrender. Oh, that is what happened at Calvary. If you don't surrender, if you don't surrender, we are going to wipe you off. You are going to remain without the keys. Amen. Now on the ninth, after three days, listen to this, after three days, after three days, the Americans again dropped another bomb in Nagasaki. This time, this time it was a plutonium bomb. It was, it was very big. It wiped the entire city of Nagasaki. And you know what? The, Ameri the Japanese surrendered. Seeing all that, the Japanese surrendered. And when they surrendered, not only did they not have a military, up to date, the Japanese, they have no military. They have a militia. Now, we want to say, this way, this message, should tie the devil until he has no military, until he has no keys, until he has got a, he's left with a militia. Hallelujah. hallelujah, hallelujah. This message, this message has made the devil to unconditionally surrender. We are fighting, we are fighting a crippled enemy. He's 
unconditionally surrendered. He is left with a militia to dead. You know what? You know what? Doesn't end there. Japan is no military. And they are confined to making Toyotas, computers, and all other uh, games, cars, all such things, high on dice. They are, that's their duty. Until even if they try to make, to try to have a military, their president will be taken off. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I wanted to tell you that you are fighting a defeated enemy. The defeated enemy has just no military. He has no power, he's killers. He's just got the militia. Let's invite the preacher. Let's invite the preacher. If you see that song, we are fighting a defeated enemy. If we have come to recharge our batteries, we are fighting a defeated enemy.
uh, for them, my men. I just wanted to say, I don't know why I, this has been on my mind for some time. Amen. Uh, last time when we were here in the AIDS, amen, um, our precious brother, John Bailey, amen, um, I don't remember, he preached the message, he gives always find the addresses, amen. Hallelujah. In that message, it did something to me, amen. Just, uh, I, don't, I can't even explain what it did to me, amen. And um, after that message, amen, I think there was another message. I think our precious brother Juma was preaching, and uh, brother Tish then came to end the service, amen. We were just crossing over at that time, amen. Then brother Tish said, um, pray not for yourself, amen. Pray for someone else, amen. amen. It is just after that we just heard the message uh, from our sisters about no about Norway, amen. So I started praying for the believers in Norway that they didn't have a fellowship or just depending on just praying. And then Brother Tish went on to say, now go to the person that you have prayed for, amen. amen. And, and 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 tell them that you've been praying for them. Amen. amen. So I went to my sister Jesus, amen, and I said, I've been praying for you to receive a church in Norway. And immediately the presence of the Lord fell down. Mm. Mm. And the sister was carried through the spirit. Mm. And she went to where she was sitting. And right at that time, something said into my heart, go to Norway. Mm. Mm. Amen. Amen. I did not go there. It was never in a dance. I go to Norway. Amen. Amen. I went and I spoke to Brother Teach and I said, oh, Brother, this is what has happened. Let us go and said, Brother, I'm coming along with you. We are going together. Amen. Amen. And when we got there, oh my, 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 we found a wonderful family that believed the word. Amen. Amen. A very sweet family that believed the word of God. Amen. They are here with us. Amen. And more so, when we then started preaching to them over the few months that we were there, the people just pulled. Amen. I've heard of Pentecost. Amen. But there I experienced Pentecost. Amen. 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 Just like what happened last night here, yeah. amen. Anything can happen in the midst of them, amen. Anything can happen. You can find a sister from here going down today. You don't know what can happen when the Spirit of the Lord falls, amen. They are just believers, amen. Hallelujah. I love them so much, amen. Um, there's been a few that have been baptized, wonderful testimonies of the Lord coming along, signs uh, following them, amen. Uh, not to also take too much of your time, I would also want to um, appreciate the gifts of the ministries that have went before us. The Brother Gerard Gondor, what a wonderful message that we see from Brother Gondor. Can you give a hand of praise to him? Then we also heard from uh, other ministries, and I would really like to appreciate each and every ministry. We are all built different, we all come with different ways of expression, and I'm also different, amen. Um, so I just received a message from the pastor, John, that our precious brother John Perry is not well, and his health has been deteriorating uh, since he began a while, uh, and he requested prayer. So before we leave the word of God, and as we are about to read the word of God, can we stand up on our feet and we'll pray this request in prayer. Precious Lord Jesus, yes, Lord. Almighty God, we want to thank you, Father, for your word. We want to thank you, Lord, for the message. We want to thank you, Lord, that you died on Calvary, Lord Jesus, and you completely destroyed the enemy, Lord. Like our brother was saying, he is killed today, Lord. And Father, while you're on Calvary, you say it is finished. Amen. It was finished for every sickness. It was finished for every deliverance. It was finished for anything, any problem, any mountain, dear God Almighty. Lord, the devil has got no keys. He's got no power. He's a defeated enemy. Amen. Oh, Lord, I pray, Father, even in the life of our precious brother, Don Bailey, the devil is defeated. Amen. Lord, I pray, Father, that you be with his servant, oh God Almighty, yes, Father, as he is lying on that bed, Father, Amen. may the angel of the Lord come down, Heavenly Father, yes, Father. and touch his body, Father, God Almighty. Yes, Lord, by ye, oh, strike, Father, ye he was healed, oh God. We commit him, Father, before you, Lord, asking, Father, that you quickly, oh God, bring his recovery 
Make it to good health again, oh Father. Lord, if thy dear will, Lord God Almighty, we would like to see him once more again, stand behind the second place, Lord. Like the last time, Lord God, is true to heaven, Father, and proclaim the message unto us, Father. Lord, if he's got a portion, oh God, in his life to fulfill, Lord. Lord, may you give him, Lord God Almighty, that portion, Father. Maybe there might be one more, oh Father, that he needs to put in, oh Father, into the kingdom of God. May you grant it, Heavenly Father God. I also pray, Lord Jesus, that you be with thy servant today, Lord. Lord, I pray that you undertake for me, Lord. Lord, may you help me, Father. Hide me behind the cross of Calvary, Lord Jesus. Lord, may you circumcise my lips, Father, that they say only the oracles of God. Circumcise the hearts of your children, Father. Let it be established, Father, what you get us, Father, this time to be, Lord. I pray, Lord, and I commit all these things unto thee in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 While you are standing, can we turn our Bibles to the book of Kings? 1 Kings chapter 17. Amen. We've been fellowshipping back home on a certain series called Elijah and his spirit. Amen. Amen. We looked upon the life of uh, Elijah and his spirit. Amen. <clears throat> so we've got it. Amen. So from that inspiration of Elijah and his spirit, uh, some, the Lord just spoke to me a few weeks ago. Amen. Uh, it was after I had put a WhatsApp status. Amen. Some people say I put so much on my status. It is true, I do. Amen. But I put the things that are of God. Amen. Yeah. So I put a quotation on the on WhatsApp status, and one of our sisters had seen the quotation, and she she did not know how the table works actually. So she had been in our fellowship for almost a year, but she didn't know how the table works. She never listened to the voice. Amen. So she was tired, she woke up at 3 a.m. for prayer and she was praying. Then she saw my status and said, let me see what the status is. And then she went to the table, trying to play it. Normally for the past year she'd been reading it. Amen? But this time she prayed download and she received the message and she started listening to the voice of William Marion Branham. Amen? And after that message had been proclaimed, she got into the spirit. Amen? Amen. And then she called me around 6 o'clock. Amen? And when she called me around 6 o'clock, I could not contain the joy that was on the other side. She was praising God, uh, singing hallelujah. Then the brother, you don't know what has happened to me. I said, what has happened to me? I've heard the voice, the which voice? The voice of William Aaron Burnham, amen. And she was so excited about that, hallelujah. And I said, but what have you been I said, I've been eating upon this voice, amen. You know, when he said this chapter, he says, eat, eat. And I said, oh. I said, okay, then, then read Revelation chapter 8, 10, this. 8 to 1 to 11, amen, and she went on to read it. But what that happened is that when she was in that spirit, the Lord just said, eh, go back to that same one. That same one that she had actually been listening to, I got yet listened to it myself, amen. I just found the quotation that I liked it and I put it on my status, amen. So I just said, let me go to that same one, amen, and listen to it. And this is where his message comes from, amen. 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 And Elijah the Tishbite, amen, who was of the inhabitant of Gilead, said unto Ab, As the Lord God of Israel liveth before whom I stand, there shall not be due no way this yes, amen, but according to my word, amen. amen. Next, amen. <clears throat> and the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, Get thee hence, turn thee eastward, and hide thyself by the brook shallows that is before Jordan. And it shall be that thou shalt drink of the brook. And they have commanded the heavens to feed thee. Notice, to feed thee. Amen. Amen. So he went and did according to, unto the word of the Lord, for he went and dwelt at the brook chairs that is before Jordan. And the heavens brought him bread. Hallelujah. Amen. They have been commanded hallelujah, to go to this book. Amen. And the heavens were going to be commanded to feed him. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And the heavens brought him bread and fish in the morning. Amen. Bread and fish in the evening. Amen. And he drank of the book. Amen. What was Elijah doing? Amen. He was feeding. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to Almighty God. Let's go to 1 Kings chapter 18. <clears throat> Hallelujah. We are going to be speaking about eating. Amen. Amen. The theme of this message is recharge your spiritual batteries. Amen. Amen. And if you are not eating, hallelujah, 
your spiritual battles will go up. Amen. Even in the natural, amen. If you don't eat your food, hallelujah, if you don't eat what has been provided by the table, your energy goes low. Amen. You need to eat, hallelujah, in your natural, hallelujah, so that you can gain strength. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 Yes, sir. And it came to pass after many days that the word of the Lord came to Elijah in the third year, saying, Go show thyself unto her, and I will send rain upon the earth. And Elijah went to show himself unto Ahab, and there was a soul famine in Samaria. And Ahab called Obadiah, which was of the governor of the house. Now Obadiah feared the Lord greatly. Amen? Amen. For it was so when Jezebel cut off the prophets of the Lord, that Obadiah took a hundred prophets and hid them by fifty in a cave and fed them with bread and water. Now I've said unto Obadiah, go into the land, into all the fountains of the water, and unto all the books, where adventure we may find grass to save the horses and mules alive, that we lose not all the beasts. So they divided the land between them to pass through it, and Ahab went out one way by himself, and Obadiah went another way by himself. And as Obadiah was in the way, behold, Elijah met him, amen, and he knew him and fell on his face and said, Art thou? That my Lord Elijah, and he answered him, saying, Go tell thy Lord, Behold, Elijah is here. Amen. Amen. Behold, Elijah is here. Amen. Amen. We've been talking now back home about Elijah and his spirit. Amen. Amen. Elijah's spirit was used five times, or it's been used five times. Amen. God loved the spirit of Elijah so much, so very much. That is saying, no, 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 I cannot just keep the spirit within Elijah. Amen. Amen. It means that there was something particular about the spirit of Elijah. Amen. Amen. There is something particular about what Elijah was doing. Amen. Amen. That God loved so much. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Amen. 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 And then, because he loved that spirit of Elijah, Amen, he put it upon Elisha. Amen. In a double portion. Amen. Amen. And because he loved that spirit so much, he put it upon John the Baptist. Amen. And because he loved the spirit of Elijah so much, he put it upon William Mario Branham. Amen. Amen. And he's going to bring the Elijah back again to preach unto the, unto the Israel. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Amen. Verse 9. Amen. He said, What have I sinned that thou would deliver thy servant? Verse 9. I want verse 9. Amen. And he said, What have I seen that thou would deliver thyself into the hand of Ahab to slay me? As the Lord thy God liveth, there is no nation or kingdom. Neither my Lord is not sent to seek thee. And when he said he is not here, then he took an oath of the kingdom and nation that they should that they found thee not. And now Thou says, Go tell thy Lord, behold, Elijah is here. Amen. Over there is getting. Amen. It shall come to pass that as soon as I am gone from thee, that the Spirit of the Lord shall carry thee whither and I will not, whither I know not. And so when I come and tell Ab, he cannot find thee, and he slay me. But thy servant fear the Lord for my youth. Amen. Amen. Was it not told, my Lord, what I did? When Jezebel slew the prophets of the Lord, how I hid hundreds of men of the Lord's prophets by fifty in a cave and fed them with bread and water. Father Lord Jesus, mighty God, I pray, Lord Jesus Christ, that you add the context, Father, of this scripture reading, Father, and you come, Father, the unction of the Holy Ghost before in the midst of us, Father. I pray, O oh God, in Jesus Christ, precious Holy Name. Amen. 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 So we've been fellowshipping upon this, this, this inspiration of Elijah and his spirit. Amen. And in the quotation which uh, I spoke about earlier, amen, which I put on my status, amen. Uh, sometimes when you put things on the status, it's by inspiration, you never know, amen. You tell from the message, what is now Elijah, amen. amen. Uh, <clears throat> if you can put that quotation up. Uh, I'll be happy. Amen. So in that quotation, the prophet says, you know, the some of us eat and eat and never exercise. Amen. There are some people that just eat and eat and never exercise. Amen. They take it so much, they enjoy their food so much, but when it comes to using the energy and the food that they've eaten, they don't exercise at all. Amen. Amen. And there are others that offer exercise and don't get a chance to eat. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. They've eaten, but when they go to exercise, they exercise too much. Amen. 
God, we know of some people that are even have problems, amen, in their physical health because they've eaten too much. And they become so they have problems with blood pressure, whatever, amen. And then there are other people that have problems because they are over exercising too much. Amen. They become anorexic like a stick. Amen. Hallelujah. So if you are eating the food of God, it needs to be used now. Amen. And if you have got the food of God and you offer exercise, you become anorexic. Amen. Amen. We sit in these confessions and we eat the word of God and the goodness of God. Then go out and in fact. Amen. And you never say nothing about it. We should go out and use that energy and those testimonies to the glory of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 We've been here for the past four days. Amen. Amen. We've been eating. Hallelujah. We've been in church. Hallelujah. We've been taking the word of God, but it's not just to eat and become fat. Amen. Amen. We came in when our party levels were around 10%. Hallelujah. And as the word was coming forth, it went to 20%. And the word was coming forth, it went to 50%. And the word was coming forth, it went to 90%. And I believe last night it got full. Hallelujah. Amen. It went to 100%. Hallelujah. But what are we going to do that, that our parties have been charged up? Yeah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We should go out. And you use the energy. Amen. Amen. Do you know when your practice, what it actually is, is there's energy in that practice. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. It's got a positive and it's got a negative. Amen. Amen. If you connect your practice from the positive to the negative, you can get a current that flows. Amen. Amen. There's current that is flowing the energy. Amen. Amen. And you are told hallelujah, in these meetings that we are connected to the grid. Amen. Amen. The power supply, the Holy God. Amen. Amen. And there's current that's coming from the grid. Going into our bodies, hallelujah, so that our bodies can become full up Amen. spiritually. Amen. Amen. Which means that you are full of courage. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, there is a power in you, so much power in the same power that was in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Yes. Amen. But what are you going to use that powerful? What are you going to use that powerful? Amen. But the Bible says we should go out and use that energy. And those testimonies to the glory of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Those sisters that went to Norway, hallelujah, when they first arrived on the first day and they were talking about the testimonies of what God had done in the previous meeting, hallelujah, and how they received the Holy Ghost, amen. While they are telling their testimonies, the current that was in them said that it's flowing through. Amen. Hallelujah. And when you are flowing through, this brother, that brother, he sees the baptism of the Holy Ghost. That same night, hallelujah, for two hours, they do not contain themselves. Glory to Almighty God. Not two brothers. Hallelujah. That is that using the energy thereof. Amen. And as you come out of these meetings and you go to our different places, we need to use the energy thereof. Now we are all familiar with the scripture of Revelation chapter 10. Amen? Verse 7. <clears throat> it identifies Brother Branham. Amen? But that more particular about verse 8 to 11. Amen? Verse, 10, verse 7, I love it. Amen? I love it so much. That's what pulled me. Amen? But I love verse 8 to 11. Amen? Now verse 8 says, In the voice which I heard from heaven, spake unto me and said, Go take the little book which is open in the hand of the angel who standeth upon the sea mm. and upon the earth. Amen. And I went unto the angel and I said to him, Give me this little book. And he said that to me, Take it and eat it up. Yes. Amen. There is something about eating it up. Amen. Amen. I said, Take it and eat it up. Amen. And it shall make thy belly bitter, but it shall make thy mouth sweet as honey. Amen. Amen. Everybody loves honey. Amen. I love honey so much. Amen. It makes it very sweet. Amen. And this message is sweeter. Amen. 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 The sister said in Shona, as in Apita, Amen. Amen. <laughs> it's so sweet. Amen. Amen. But remember, it's also said it's good. It's bitter. Yes. Like Amen. Yes. 
Verse 10, and I took the new book out of the angel's hand and ate it up, and it was in my mouth sweet as honey. The first thing that happened was it was in my mouth sweet as honey. But when the angel told him, told him about the bitterness first, and then the sweetness later. Amen. But when you are eating, he says, it shall make thy mouth sweet in the mouth, and it was sweet in the mouth. Amen. And as soon as I had eaten here, my belly was bitter. And he said unto me, Thou must prophesy again before many people's nations and tongues. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. There's something about eating. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Do you remember that when Israel was up in Egypt? Amen. Before they left Egypt. Amen. Amen. Moses had been to the burning bush. Amen. Amen. And they brought unto them a message. Amen. Amen. That we are going to a land that flows with milk and honey. Amen. Amen. And he was having a message unto Pharaoh, and Pharaoh said, let my people go. Amen. And he turned the miraculous among his them. Amen. But even after miraculous, after miraculous it happened, Egypt could not believe. Amen. To so let them go. Amen. Amen. Then God told Moses to do something. Amen. He says, I'm now giving you another message for you. Israel. Amen. Let's go to Exodus chapter 12. Amen. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Exodus, Exodus chapter 12, verse 1. Amen. <clears throat> and the Lord spoke unto Moses and the Aaron in the land of Egypt, saying, This month shall be unto you the beginning of the month, it shall be the first month of the year to you. And speak here unto the congregation of Israel. Amen. Amen. This message was no longer at Egypt. Amen. It was unto Israel. Amen. Amen. There's a message that goes to all the world, hallelujah, but there's a message that goes into the bride of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Saying in the tenth month of this mess, of this month, they shall take to them every man a lamp according to the house of their fathers. A lamp for a house. Amen. And if the house would be too little, amen. Hallelujah. If this fellowship be too little, amen. If this fellowship be too little, amen. For, 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 for the lamb, let him and his neighbor next unto his house take it according to the number of the souls. Amen. 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 It means that they were having a convention. Amen. Just like we are here. If that of death be too little, if death be too little, join out. Hallelujah. Come to the meetings. Come to the convention. Hallelujah. Let it be. Hallelujah. That we can eat of the lamb. Amen. Amen. Take it according to the number of their souls. Every man according to his eating. Every man according to his eating. There is something about eating. Amen. 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 Shall you make your count for the lamb? Amen. And the lamb shall be without blemish, the male of the first year, and you shall take it um, out from the sheep and from the goats. Amen. Hallelujah. And you shall. Keep it until the 14th day of the same month, and the whole assembly of the congregation of Israel shall kill it in the evening. And thou shalt take of the blood and strike it on the two sides, both, and on the upper doorposts of the house where thou shalt eat it. Amen? Mm -hmm. And you shall eat the flesh in that night, roast with fire. Amen? Amen. There was a specific instruction of how to eat this food. Amen? Amen. There is specific instructions of how to eat the message of the hour. Amen. There is specific instructions of how you should listen to the voice of William Mario Branham. Amen. And the seventh messenger of this age. Amen. It should become roasted with fire. Amen. There is the fire of the Holy Ghost that comes along with this message. Amen. And unleavened bread. Amen. There should not be living in it. Amen. There should not be existence to the message of the hour. There should not be subjection to the message of the hour. Leave it as it is. Amen. Just like the word of God, you cannot eat to it, you cannot take away from it. Amen. If you add to the word of God, you will add upon yourself cases. If you take away to add the word of if you take if you take something out of the word of God, you shall be cast away from the book of life. Amen. Leave the word of God as it is. Amen. And with bitter lips, yeah. they shall eat it. Amen. Amen. It does not come just free flowing. Amen. Amen. It sweets in their mouth, but it bitter in their belly. Amen. 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 
understanding. Amen. It's trying to bring the church to an understanding. Amen. Amen. It says, I want you to get you up now. In this oracles of God. Amen. In the faith. The faith of this hour. There is the faith of this day. The faith of this hour. Amen. And he put it the faith. Amen. Not just any other ordinary faith, but the faith. Amen. Amen. The faith of this hour. Hallelujah. The faith that has gathered around us is the faith. Amen. The faith that was once delivered to our fathers. Amen. Amen. That's the promise that we have been given. When he, Malachi 4, said that when he shall come, Elijah shall turn the hearts. Hallelujah. Of the children to their fathers. Amen. Amen. In the heart of the children to their fathers. To the father, the father, the father of the children first, which was John the Baptist, and the heart of the children, us, hallelujah, to our Pentecostal fathers, amen. amen. Which means that the faith of our Pentecostal fathers is the faith, amen. amen. And the faith of the Pentecostal fathers is what we have today, amen. is what we have now, hallelujah. We are witnesses of this faith, amen. amen. We are witnesses of this faith even now, amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. That's it is going to take. More than faith. More faith than ever was in any age. For this has to be actually faith. Be taken up. Amen. This faith has to be actually faith. Amen. This faith in this message has to take us up. Amen. And our hearts and our faith should be turned back to the faith that was not played across our fathers. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. So we want you to believe this morning in all that you have heard and seen and the way that you have heard preached among us, the signs and the wonders that you have seen done. We want you to accumulate all that together in your hearts. Amen. Amen. And consider it. Amen. Whether it be God or not. Amen. Amen. What we are witnesses. Amen. What we have been eating. Amen. Can you consider it. Amen. There's something about those people that believe the message of Elijah. Amen. Elijah had a particular spirit that he wanted to see God. Hallelujah. At one moment, hallelujah, when he, when he had been hiding away, amen, he came out, hallelujah, when Obadiah was looking out for him, amen. He says, go tell her that I am here. Amen. He says, go and tell her that Elijah is here. Amen. He had said, there shall not be rain. Hallelujah. This yes, and until I go for it. Amen. Amen. And then after he done that, he head off to the brook. Amen. Amen. And when you are in the brook, you are being fed. Amen. Amen. He didn't have himself the strength. Amen. His body is very adding Lord too. Hallelujah. He didn't have to be fed, and the roughness came and infected him. Hallelujah. Amen. And then when he was there, and he was being fed, hallelujah, he then came out and went to a retire. Hallelujah. And when he went there to Abadiah, and Abadiah said, if I, don't you, don't you remember that I said hundreds men because I feared the Lord. Amen. It is a great thing to fear the Lord. Amen. Amen. The intention of the Lord, he came around them that fear the Lord. Amen. Amen. Yes. And then while he was talking to Abadiah, amen, he said, I shall surely make myself present to you uh, today. Amen. Amen. And Arab came, amen, and thought, he said, go tell all your prophets. 450 of them. That let's get up to Mount Carmel. Amen. And not only all those prophets, and they all the other prophets of the proofs. Amen. Amen. And they went to Mount Carmel. Mount Carmel was in the same place that I have passed. Hallelujah. I was by the book chain. Amen. It was a distance to go to Mount Carmel. Amen. So I have took all his prophets and went to Mount Carmel. Amen. And he says, Let us see what God be God. Amen. You take we take two bullocks, amen. And you, I take one and you take the other. And then we sacrifice these bullocks. Amen. And the, the one that God was going to accept, hallelujah, to be the sacrifice, you will be the one God answers by fire. Amen. amen. And if God answers by fire, then that's then power is God. Amen. amen. But if I make my sacrifice, amen. And I put my sacrifice, amen. Then if God that answers my sacrifice, then the Lord of Israel is God. Amen. amen. He was going for a showdown. And the believers of this message 
always love the show down. Yeah. They always love each other. Yeah. They sing the song along the way. Where is the God of Elijah? Amen. Where is the God, the miraculous God? Amen. There is a particular characteristic that is with the believer that he wants to see God. Amen. He wants to see the courage of the energy of God working in their lives. Amen. Amen. Not in another person's life, in your life. The power that you have received working in your life. Amen. Amen. We have seen it, we have been preached, we have aged, hallelujah. We have accumulated all this, hallelujah. Signs and wonders have taken this, but all the accumulation, let us consider it, hallelujah. Is this God or not? Amen. If this what we are witnessing among us, be God, let us say him then. I don't shout, but I preach, hallelujah. That's my voice, amen. Now in that same message, the proof is that you can take, if you take people too much at the time, they can't remember. If you give people too much, they can't remember. Amen? You just have to take one thing and what is right to the people until they see it. Amen? Amen. Then when they get that solid in their heart, they will then teach them something else, step by step as we go. Amen? Amen. We are holding upon this thing. Recharge your spiritual batteries. Amen. Amen. And if your battery is below, there's a power here, the grid is here, the Holy Ghost is here to recharge. Amen. Amen. Our brother was saying that the watermelon, we can have more of it. Hallelujah. There's still watermelon even up to this time. Hallelujah. Amen. Until we leave, the watermelon is there. Hallelujah. Amen. And we can have cash upon cash, cash upon cash. Even last night, what we witnessed, we can have more of that. Hallelujah. More of Jesus Christ. If you've ever been in the presence of God, what just one time you love to be there again? Yeah. Yeah. Amen. We want our feet of to be recharged. Amen. Yeah. That's right. We will hold that before you, hallelujah, until this party is full. And once you're full, we are now asking you to use that energy. Yeah. Yes, sir. There are brothers and sisters out there that party, those parties are low too. Hallelujah. They need to be discharged. Hallelujah. When you have a big party with a big power supply, hallelujah, and you go to another party, I sometimes have it. My little car sometimes gives me battery problems. Amen. And then when I stop in the middle of the way, I can't charge it. I can't switch it on. Amen. I have to look for another party. I have to go out to go jump status. Amen. I bring another car. Hallelujah. And they start that car up. Then you connect it, hallelujah, until the next car, hallelujah, and then you start the engine, and you look before them, it's gone, hallelujah. You need a jump start, brother. You need a jump start from another car, hallelujah. The Holy Ghost is here, hallelujah. You need a jump start, hallelujah. And the power of the Holy Ghost, hallelujah. You need a jump start, hallelujah. You need the same power, the same food, hallelujah, to jump start your faith, to be faith. Hallelujah. Do you know what? Once I'm jump started, it doesn't mean that the battery can't carry this. No. We see no shortage time. It goes up to the left. Oh, yeah. It becomes full again. Oh, yeah. And it can run again. And you use the energy zero. Amen. Yeah, you can receive the Holy Cross and be full up with the Holy Cross and use the energy for the glory and honor of Jesus Christ. Not only can you use energy, if you build up another car, then you can jump start another. Hallelujah. You build up another car, you can jump start another. That's what we're going to do. We want the people to have a charge of their people of the people. And we want the people. Amen. In Sheffield, in Gabby, in Elfield, in Watford, in London, in Scotland, all around England, we want to be charged. of our spiritual batteries with the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. This power, this we've been given, we've been given to use it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It gives me great pleasure to get to see when you know that you have a message from God and you give it to the people and you see the people respond to that. Amen. You give a thing of each heart 
and the people respond to that. Hallelujah. We bring a baptism with the Holy Ghost, and people receive the baptism with the Holy Ghost. We bring a message of divine healing, and people are getting healed. Hallelujah. It's a great pleasure to see the works of God in the manifest of God. Hallelujah. It's the power of the Holy Ghost recharging us. Hallelujah. Why? Because we are holding. Hallelujah. The power. That be in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. Then you look back and say, Thank you, Father. What a joy it is to see the children of God eating the bread that sent to them. You know, brother, there's something about eating. Amen. There's something about eating. Amen. Hallelujah. You see, Elijah was one of the darkest people of heaven. Amen. Nobody knows where he came from. Amen. He was just called Elijah the Jesuit. Amen. He just appeared from nowhere. Amen. 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 And when he appeared, he just came with a message from nowhere. He didn't go to a seminary school. He didn't go to any other one of those trainings. Hallelujah. He just came from nowhere. Hallelujah. Amen. And so he did that servant of God that just appeared. Hallelujah. Amen. There was no training. Hallelujah. All that they had is that they had an experience with the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And being that was not the package of all them, he was a man of goodness. Amen. Yes. He lived in the world of men. Amen. The Bible says he was just hairy. Amen. Mm. And there was sheep skin wrapped around him. A piece of bread and a camel skin wrapped around his loins. He was poor. Amen. 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 He didn't have much. Hallelujah. Whiskers mm. on his face. Yes. Hmm? Imagine, he wasn't good to look upon. Amen. Amen. But he had the Lord. Amen. These days that I give unto you, they shall not be rain until I go for it. God gave the power to bring the rain, not in Elijah, not in himself, but he gave it unto Elijah. Amen. It was God speaking to Elijah. Amen. That I there was God himself speaking to the mouth of Elijah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And so he lived with his prophets. Amen. We hear of times, hallelujah, when men have had the spirit of Elijah. Amen. At the 19th council, when there was another showdown. Amen. Mm-hmm. There was a showdown in the 19th council. Yes. Another one who, from the spirit of power came along. Hallelujah. He said, Let us go to the 19th council. Mm-hmm. Amen. They went to the 19th council, and target men came up from the wilderness. Amen. They, they were not known. Amen. Mm-hmm. Nobody knew them. Amen. Mm-hmm. But they just came out. Hallelujah. And they believe in one message. Amen. That the Lord God of Israel is one. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And then the other were believing a different message that they are three gods. Amen. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And they still to them. Amen. And then this ragged men still believe that the Lord God Almighty is one. Yeah. And they went back to the wilderness. Amen. Yeah. God loves those people that love the wilderness. Amen. Because in the wilderness, there's a wilderness experience. Amen. The wilderness is dry. Amen. It's washed there. Amen. And under that, under the, under that heat, hallelujah, of the SU and sun, hallelujah, people get ripened in the wilderness. Amen. We have experience to go in the wilderness. Amen. You sometimes get thirsty and you do not know where you are going to get your drink. Amen. You see a little, a little, a little pool that looks like it is water there, you run to it, thinking that you are going to get some water, it's not water, amen, it's just a yard, amen, dry in the wilderness, amen, people like Moses had to go into the wilderness, amen, and while they were in the wilderness for 40 years, God called them, amen, for even in the wilderness experience, amen, we need the wilderness experience, amen, sometimes when you go through tight difficult moments, hallelujah, when all the food on the table is done, hallelujah, and your pocket is dry, and you don't know what is happening, you pray, 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 and nothing seems to happen, you need the wilderness experience, amen, you need God to come on the scene, hallelujah, you need the spirit of the Holy Nature, with God be God, let him show himself, amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The prophet says, speaking about Elijah, Amen. So now I'm going to take this great ministry tonight of Elijah. In the time of Elijah, with the hour we are now living in. Amen. The hour we are now in, I believe in the perfect time. Yes. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. 
the time of Elijah then is the perfect time for our time. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. In the first Kings, mighty men, hallelujah, talking about how it is, hallelujah, the mighty men in the beginning, amen, the light of David, the light of Solomon, amen, hallelujah, the light of Jehoshaphat, amen, men that stood in the word of God, hallelujah, amen, great men. And in America, now talking, comparing that, our first presidents were great men, Washington, Lincoln, and so forth. Then finally, presidents and the kings become more doctrine all the time. Mm -hmm. In Israel, as the, as the kings were coming, they became more evil all the time. Mm -hmm. Amen. They laid a job on. Amen. Who are so wicked. Amen. That he built, hallelujah, some idolatry so that the children of Israel would not get to Jerusalem when they were going to worship. Amen. So on their way, they were stopped by these idolatries. And before they got to the new place, hallelujah, where they ought to be, they will stand in between and not get to where they are. Hallelujah. And then they will worship these idolatries. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. And we have now these denominations, hallelujah, that do not take people to Pentecost. Amen. Pentecost is where they will have the experience of God. Pentecost is where we have the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Pentecost is where we have the power, the greed. Pentecost is where we get discharged, hallelujah. But Pentecost is not an organization, it's an experience. Something happens, hallelujah. And you know it, hallelujah. And when you know it, you know that you get charged, hallelujah. Amen. But then they come some people they want to take in between. They don't want to take you to Pentecost. Amen. They tie you in systems. Amen. Different. Hallelujah. It's what the word of God says. They add in there to something what the word of God did not say. When the word of God says, let every man's word be a lie. And God's word be the truth. Amen. Amen. And finally they ended up with this uh, very tight. Typical of our day. The people had gotten so modern, they didn't want to hear the true word of God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. And the same thing today. Yeah. You go in the street, you want to testify, people do not want to hear the word of God. Amen. Amen. You go into the byways, you want to testify, they do not want to hear the word of God. Mm -hmm. Why? Because we are living the day of our heart. Amen. Yeah. We are the perfect type. Amen. Now that time that I'm going to tell Elijah with the church today, the church of today, just before judgment, received this message. Amen. Amen. Elijah, he represented being cared for in the natural. Amen. Amen. His natural food. Amen. Because, because it was going to rain now, according to the word of God, for three years and six months, and all until Elijah called for it. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Elijah was there of the type of the church. Amen. Yeah. Do you know when Elijah went to be fed? Hallelujah. Okay. When Elijah it slaughtered the 400 prophets. Amen. After Mount Carmel. Amen. Yeah. And God had proved that Elijah's God is God. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. He said, take a hold of these denominations. Amen. Take a hold of these prophets. Hallelujah. Take a hold of them and step them and slow them. Amen. Hallelujah. Now we bet then they were doing it in the natural. Hallelujah. We don't do it in the natural. We have the word of God, the spirit of the word of God that can cut it to the two edges. Amen. Yeah. Amen. 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 And after they've been thrown, hallelujah, mm -hmm. Elijah ran. Amen. Elijah ran and he went into the mountain. Amen. Mm -hmm. When he was under the anointing, he had the power of God. Yeah. But as soon as the anointing had left him, he ran away because the woman said to him, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. The woman said, they what you have done to my prophets, I'll do unto you. Amen. And there was no power left in him, and he ran. Hallelujah. And he went by the juniper tree. Amen. Amen. Brother, the, once the energy has been used up in you, there's nothing in you. Hallelujah. You cannot do anything without God. Hallelujah. Whatever Amen. you do, you do by the power of God. There's no virtue in you. Hallelujah. And that's God that will be touching you. Hallelujah. Even Elijah is great man as he was. Without being connected with God, there was no power. He had run away from the woman. Hallelujah. Amen. He needed a recharge. Hallelujah. Amen. We cannot do anything. Hallelujah. And that is for the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. This Holy Ghost is the power that touches us. Hallelujah. There's nothing in me. There's nothing in me. There's nothing in you unless you are connected to the priest. That he not to do anything unless the Father shows him. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. He needs to 
should be connected. Hallelujah. Amen. Imagine this is the Christ himself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All that was in God was put into Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. And then Christ himself had to depend on the gift. Hallelujah. Amen. He had to depend on the power. Hallelujah. What more of you and I? Amen. Glory to Almighty God. Amen. And while Elijah was there, the Juniper tree, God came and fed him. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. There's something about eating. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. And you know, he got, he got cakes. Hallelujah. Yes. Already cooked. Hallelujah. Yeah. Taken. Hallelujah. Yeah. All of his things. Hallelujah. Was prepared. Hallelujah. Yeah. You would just have to go ahead and sleep, wake up, and then eat. Hallelujah. Yeah. Go ahead and sleep. Wake up and then eat. Amen. Amen. Morning and evening. Amen. Amen. Pressing the word of God. Listening to the message of Malachi 4. Yeah. Listening to the church of the word of God. Praying. Opening your Bibles. Eating from the word of God. Amen. Amen. Do you know that Elijah, when he was by that mountain, hallelujah, in that cave, hallelujah, he was in that cave for 40 days and 40 nights. Amen. The sign of 40 being the judgment. Amen. Amen. And before the judgment of God come, we've got a case, hallelujah, Amen. where the church of the living God has been told to hide in that case. Amen. 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 Elijah was hiding from a woman, hallelujah. Amen. Elijah was hiding from a woman that kept the church, hallelujah, Amen. in a cave, hallelujah. In that cave, he had the food that he needed, hallelujah. Amen. The food to eat the word of God, hallelujah. Amen. The food to be in charge, hallelujah. Amen. The food to get the strength, hallelujah, Amen. come from the way that was coming from God. Already prepared, hallelujah. 1,256 messages came along to Elijah in that day, hallelujah. 1,256 messages came along to the church, hallelujah. 1,256 messages are important, hallelujah, for you to receive the power. Such a day to the night. Until the judgment, amen. Hallelujah. But that church. We're not going to the tribulation. Amen. Amen. So before the tribulation, hallelujah, the church of living God was being fed. Before the tribulation, we are here, we are being fed. There's somewhere where you need to be eaten. Hallelujah. You need to hide somewhere. God loves to hide his things. Amen. Amen. Yes. He has eaten his secrets. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. That no one can receive it. Amen. Until he reveals his secrets to his servants and prophets. Amen. 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 So does he hide his believers as well? Amen. Amen. From the power of a woman. Amen. Oh. So does he hide his believers as well from the enemies. Hallelujah. There's a secret place that God brings the church into. Amen. For a rich church. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. Glory to Almighty God. Hallelujah. In that famine, why Elijah? Was eating for was eating for those three years. Amen. They were famine in the land. Hallelujah. Glory to Almighty God. Amen. Now we are going to tell that with the spiritual drought of today. Amen. Amen. Now we all know that we are and are very aware that there's a great spiritual drought in the land today, spiritually speaking. Amen. You know that it was predicted by the prophet just before the coming of the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ would be. Amen. In Amos this. Chapter 8, verse 11. Behold, the days come, says the Lord, that I will send famine in the land. Not a famine for bread, nor a thirst for water, but of healing the ways of the Lord. Amen. Amen. There is a great famine that is upon the world. Amen. Amen. A great famine that they are not eating the right type of food. Amen. Amen. They are eating this genetically modified food. Hallelujah. When they ate, some DNA in the food, and when you eat it out, it's actually being more diseases than the original seed. The original seed comes out of an original seed. Amen. And the original seed is the one that God spoke. Hallelujah. And that seed, and it was there. Hallelujah. And the original seed is the spoken word that you are eating. Hallelujah. You need to eat something which is original. For God Himself. Hallelujah. Glory to Almighty God. Hallelujah. Amen. But it's the payment of hearing the word of God. Amen. Amen. There is people are all everywhere. Amen. Because they do not want to hear the word of God, sin is being multiplied. Mm. Unbelief is being multiplied. Amen. 
You know, everything because people are coming with their false teachings, yeah. false doctrines. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. With this modernistic way of preaching now. Yeah. Amen. They are up there for money, hallelujah, or for popularity, hallelujah, and do not get the people to the word of God. Amen. Yeah. Mm? They, they just want to build, build these great big churches and color them, hallelujah, but they do not want to give the people, hallelujah, the real original food. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. But what they are doing, they are binding themselves on the judgment. Amen. 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 If you notice here, it's just at that time that God. Yes, it's something. Amen. When sin and, and unbelief is multiplied, like in the days of Noah, hallelujah, like our pride was saying, that you actually had pity, hallelujah, for God. Because God is a breaking point. Amen. Breaking point, meaning that the people of this world, hallelujah, were in continuous sin, even in the imaginations of their heart and mind. Amen. It was sin everywhere. Amen. God, people are preparing themselves for judgment. Amen. But while people are preparing themselves for judgment, God takes his believer, hallelujah, and he hides it somewhere. Hallelujah. And what he's hiding there is judging and the mark to help you defend. The faith of this house, hallelujah, to have the faith that will take them from their natural bodies into the tree of life, hallelujah. To have the faith that will rapture them, hallelujah. Amen. You believe, hallelujah, that all things are possible, hallelujah. God gives us the miraculous to build up our faith, hallelujah, so that we can reach the point where our heart will be translated, amen. 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 Hallelujah. I love the miraculous. I love to see God. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. I love to see, because when I see that, I see that there's something greater. Hallelujah. Yeah. That which I have is just a minor. Hallelujah. Of what God is doing. Amen. Divine healing is just a small minor. Hallelujah. Of what the resurrection of the body will be. Hallelujah. When we see the miraculous happening, hallelujah, people receiving the Holy Ghost, limbs being restored, eyesight is getting back, and death here is just a sign to me that the land somewhere. Glory to be Almighty God. Amen. 
Elijah had to be fed all the time during the drought, where his food was provided day by day. He didn't need to wonder what's going up to happen tomorrow or wonder if the supply ran out. The grid doesn't run out. Hallelujah. The Holy Ghost is inexhaustible. Amen. You can never exhaust the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. It's just like you cannot take a mice and put it in the grains of Egypt where all the food was told up by, 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 by Joseph and say, just eat sparingly because there's nothing here. You can eat as much as you want. Hallelujah. Amen. And be fed as much as you want. Hallelujah. But just be careful. You need to use what you're fed. You need to use the energy thereof. How do you use the energy thereof? Hallelujah. In my name, they shall cast out the devils. Hallelujah. They shall speak. Hallelujah. And the word of God will flash like lightning. Amen. The word of God that we receive, amen, is for us to use. Amen. When you come among us, your folks, hallelujah, at work, at school, at college, hallelujah, in deep despair, hallelujah, we speak the word of God and the energy thereof will be in you. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. amen. God says, I've commanded the reverend and the offending. What a beautiful thing. A type of our secret place in Christ. Amen. God is the one that provides this secret place. Amen. 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 Now notice then, during the time he was going to punish the unbeliever, he made a way for the believer. Amen. Amen. The same waters that drowned all the world in the days of Noah mm. is the same water that saved. No one is coming. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Right. During that time, hallelujah, when the judgment of God are going to fall, hallelujah, God has got something, somewhere, someplace, somewhere where the believer can hide. Amen. 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 The same thing he does this time. In the days when he was going to swim the world by water, he made a way of escape for no one. In the days he was going to go into to John Egypt, he made a way of escape across the sea for his people. How God makes his way the, where there is no way. How does he make that way? Amen. He becomes the way. Hallelujah. He doesn't need to look for another way. He himself is the way. Hallelujah. I am the way, the truth, and the life. Hallelujah. He himself knew that when humanity was bound. Hallelujah. When sicknesses and death and hell and tripled all the people and humanity was bound, said, no, 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 no. In those days of Adam, like my brother was saying, I just saw the land to provide goats and booze and bows. But on this occasion, I myself, I am the way. Hallelujah. I myself, I am going to make you down to save the people. Hallelujah. I am going to believe again. He becomes the way. And when he becomes the way, he wants to hide people. Mm. Hide them from the judgments that are falling. Amen. Amen. Get judgments that are falling upon the earth. Hallelujah. Mm. When this bride is taken away. Amen. Amen. What's holding the judgment of God right now is you and I. Hallelujah. Amen. Why? Because we are being hidden at a secret place. In the cave that we are for these 40 days and nights. Hallelujah. Amen. Before the judgments come upon the earth. Hallelujah. Amen. There's a food that we are eating. Hallelujah. Before the judgment of God come, we need to be hidden. Hallelujah. Yeah. In Christ our Lord Jesus. Amen. Yeah. Now we want to find out where this hiding place is. How do we get it? Amen. Mm -hmm. In the Psalm 17, Hallelujah, he says, Show thy, show thy marvelous kindness, loving kindness, all thou that savest by the right hand, they which put their trust in thee from those that rise up against them. Amen. Yeah. From all those demons. Of witchcraft, hallelujah. Amen. From all those demons, hallelujah, which try to take away your life, hallelujah, Amen. God hides himself. Amen. If you put your trust in him, amen. amen. From all those demons of unbelief, amen, amen. which brings you to be bound, hallelujah, amen. God provides himself amen. as a way of escape, hallelujah, amen. so that you put your trust in God, hallelujah, and not in a man, and not in a church, and not in a fellowship, hallelujah, and not in some dead creature, hallelujah. You put your trust in God, you will hide yourself, hallelujah, from the judgment that I've been before. Give me the eye, hide me under the shadow of thy wings, David. Hallelujah. Why? For David found out that there is a secret place that God can hide you in. But that secret place is here this morning. That secret place is here now, hallelujah. 
Amen. Yes, hallelujah. Yes, hallelujah. That is an idol. So, God is in there's a question of hiding place. Amen. There is a place of hiding place, a cleft. Hallelujah. Amen. And when God wanted to hide the bride of Jesus Christ, Amen. he had to take a Roman soldier. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. To go and open up the cave. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, he took a Roman soldier. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. God was powerful. Hallelujah. He took the spear and he punched it. Hallelujah. Yes. It is the fifth heap of our Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. And out came the blood and the water yes. of our Lord. Hallelujah. And while the blood was coming out, out came the bride. This is Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Who was from the heap. Hallelujah. Of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Out came the way of the grave. Out came the way of the Almighty God. Then he says, hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked. Amen. There's a place, hallelujah, where you are hidden. When enemies and those that are wicked, hallelujah, come against you, hallelujah, you hide under the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. That womb that was created in the sweet blue, there's blood. In blood is life, hallelujah. When you apply the blood of Jesus Christ upon your life, you are hidden, hallelujah, from all the world and the wickedness of the enemy. Amen. Amen. From the instructions of the workers of iniquity. Deliver me, O Lord, from my enemies. I flee unto thee to hide me. Oh Lord, hallelujah. May the Lord just hide me, hallelujah. In the cleft of his feet, hallelujah. Under his precious heart, when the love of God flows, where I become him that he loved me so much. Hallelujah. And I love him too, hallelujah. In that hiding place, hallelujah, Amen. you'll find that you are safe and secure Amen. from all around. Yes. Nothing can happen to you yes. when you are in Christ Jesus, hallelujah. Amen. You are safe, hallelujah. Yes. Though the enemies may rise up as much as the flood, nothing will happen. Amen. 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 Sure. Though in the whole street the is against me, mm. my heart shall not fear. The wall should rise against me. If this will I be confident? One thing if I desire of the Lord, and that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty and to inquire in his temple. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. While you are hiding there, hallelujah, you find a place, hallelujah, where you can inquire, hallelujah, from him, hallelujah, his temple, hallelujah, a place where you can hide yourself, hallelujah. Glory to Almighty God. Amen. Amen. For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in this pavilion. Hallelujah. We have these people now again that think that because we are streaming and we are doing live streaming that they can sit at home and just relax it while with their cups of coffee they can eat. While the Bible says you hide me in this pavilion. You have to come out from those for live streaming and come back to church. Hallelujah. The Lord of the land. Yeah, I'm 
Hallelujah. Wherever this is, we are cast as Hallelujah. Where this carcass is, Hallelujah. Where the word is coming, Hallelujah. And then you are eating with an Amen, Hallelujah. With a glory, Hallelujah. When you say Amen, you are saying God be it, Hallelujah. When you say God be it, the word is coming fresh, Hallelujah. The fresh is coming. The word of God was before that we shall eat it with bitter lips. Amen. Amen. We don't run away from the church because the word of God is become bitter. Amen. <laughs> that the preacher comes and the preach and cut you up. That's the matter. It's the food. Hallelujah. It's bitter. Hallelujah. And God is making it not bitter. Amen. So that as you eat the bitterness, you become strong. Amen.
or say Kaban Kaban Ali the beach of the sea, and then condemn those generations and Sudan and Gomorrah. And then let us do the same thing and get by with it. Yeah. If this world is continuing sin and a chain, amen. And then God continues it, amen. And then it does not bring judgment to this world, hallelujah. Then it's an unjust God. Hallelujah. Because God is going to be fair, amen. If people are going to continue on and not listen to the word of God, and not listen to what I of what the word of God says, hallelujah, and still sit in their chairs of home, or still be in unbelief, or still eat, or still be in adultery, and all sin is dipping and dipping and dipping, and then God just let it be like that. Without a judgment, then God will have to repent. Yes. Yes. For Sodom and Gomorrah. Amen. For Gabriel, Amen. Yes. For no one's time. Amen. Yes. But God cannot repent. Hallelujah. Yes. Whatever He says, Hallelujah, it's finished. Hallelujah. Yes. He is not a man that He should repent. Hallelujah. What His word says, Hallelujah, is forever settled. Hallelujah. He cannot change. Hallelujah. That's one thing I love about God. Hallelujah. And that's why it can change, but God's word cannot change. Amen. That's why Hallelujah. Yes. 
and they repented of the spirit and God loved the person. Hallelujah. They needed the spirit. Amen. And they saved the person, hallelujah, and took the spirit out. Trust God, you bring judgment upon the earth. But in the midst of the judgment, he will save his children. There's a hiding place that God has provided. Hallelujah. Now, the reason why they are in those sin and shame is because the book to them was closed. It's not open. Amen. Hallelujah. They try to read the Bible, they cannot see it. Amen. Hallelujah. If not the Bible prophet says, he that he see, he need to understand, mm-hmm. shall be the kingdom of God. Amen. Mm-hmm. He need an understanding mm-hmm. of the knowledge of God. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. And that comes through revelation. Mm-hmm. Amen. Mm-hmm. It's not a man that can teach you. Hallelujah. It's not a man that can say anything. But he needs the Holy Ghost himself. Mm-hmm. He is the way to come and reveal it to you. Mm-hmm. So that you can come out of those situations. Mm-hmm. Come out of the judgment of God. Amen. Mm-hmm. And because it was sealed, no man could open it. On earth, hallelujah. No man under the earth, no man under the sea, hallelujah. And John, when he was being told, that said, Behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah has prevailed. Amen. Amen. And when John turned, he saw a lamp as it had been slain. Amen. Amen. Just like they explained the lamp in the days of the Egypt, amen, when they were coming out, hallelujah. This lamp was slain on Calvary. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And he went and he took the book, hallelujah. And he opened it. And in Revelation chapter 10, we hear that man is a mighty angel come down from heaven, hallelujah, clothed with a hemp around his head, hallelujah, and a cloud hallelujah, around him, amen. And then he was coming down, seven thunders, other their voices, and the seven thunders and other their voices, John was about to write, and said, write it not, John, but in the days of the voice, hallelujah, of the seventh angel, hallelujah, the mystery. Of God, God is His way. Hallelujah. Shall be fulfilled. Amen. Meaning that all that was in the word of God, all the secrets of God, shall be made manifest. Amen. There will be another restoration. Hallelujah. Of everything that has been hidden. Hallelujah. Glory to Almighty God. Deuteronomy 29, verse 29 says, The secret things, hallelujah, belong to God. Hallelujah. But the revealed things belong to us. In our children, and to their children, hallelujah. These things that have been revealed unto us, they belong to us. Yes, sir. That's hallelujah, fulfillment of that scripture. Because you are believers, won't go much into it, but I'll show you, I'll just show you, summarize it by this picture. Amen. Was fulfilled, hallelujah, when this mighty angel came down. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. It's easy to feel, hallelujah. While the prophets was hunting on Sunset Mountain, he had seen a vision that they'd been dreamed before, hallelujah. And the message has come out of says, this is the time. And he was wondering what's going to happen. Is that going to be taken away or not, hallelujah. And while he was there, hallelujah, he was just walking, hallelujah, in the, in the vision, he had seen that there will be a cock club, amen. Or something that is spiky, hallelujah. And when he shall pick it up, something will happen, hallelujah. And when he tried to pick a cock club there, in such a moment, there was a thunder. Yeah. And that thunder rolled, hallelujah. And when it rose, hallelujah, the prophet was picked up, hallelujah, and went into a constellation of angels, hallelujah. I believe it was picked up, amen. amen. Hallelujah. And what was picked up, hallelujah, there was a period of time, hallelujah, about 30 minutes, amen. Hallelujah. And in those 30 minutes, he then came down, hallelujah. He was being eaten. Hallelujah. Which is the case. God will not do anything upon this earth unless he reveals. He seek excuse. God was revealing the seven seals unto the prophet. Hallelujah. And when the seven seals were being opened, the book was being opened unto us. Hallelujah. Great things without coming up. Hallelujah. We were poor people that didn't know what to say. Now we have something to say because the book has been opened. Hallelujah. And while this book has been opened, the two pictures, amen. This is, this is one of the pictures, amen? I want to give you this picture, amen? Yeah, this was one of the pictures, amen? And in those pictures earlier, it was not originally like that. 
That side doesn't see what's the left. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. It was it was taken out as it was flat. Amen. And the Lord had to come to the prophet. Mm-hmm. When people were wondering what it is, amen. Yeah. What is this? Amen. They didn't know what it is. It was 26 miles high, 13 meters, 30 miles wide. They could not tell what it is. And then they said, the Lord came to visit. Let you turn it to the right. Amen. You know, when you are not, things are not right, make the right thing. Turn your things the right way. If you think right, you have to get right to come out the right way. Hallelujah. Let's turn it to the right. Hallelujah. And when you turn it to the right, you saw how now there was a different picture. Amen. Amen. And you have zoomed it in now, and then you could actually see as if it was the face of a man. Yeah. Hallelujah. And the prophet had already preached, hallelujah, in the church ages about the supreme judge. Hallelujah. Yeah. And in that supreme judge, it was almost like he, had, he was wearing a wig. Hallelujah. Yeah. And in that wig, you can see the other side of it. Hallelujah. Yeah. And then the prophet said there was a particular angel. Hallelujah. That it drew his attention. Hallelujah. Yeah. There was a particular one that he was focused on. And he was looking at him. Hallelujah. And when he was looking at him, he says, it is that one on your left. Hallelujah. If you are on this side, it is on your right. Hallelujah. If I am on this side, it is on the left. Hallelujah. So he said, it is that one on your right. Meaning that one. Hallelujah. And because of that, there was a light. That was there. Hallelujah. And the light is the manifestation of the word of God. Amen. Amen. The light is the manifestation of the power of God. Hallelujah. The ministry of Holy Spirit of Abraham is manifestation and vindication of the power of God. But it was not only left to him. Hallelujah. Then go and preach the seven series. Amen. And when he preached the seven series, hallelujah, after then things became different. Hallelujah. The food now was full. Hallelujah. The seven course menu now was there. Yeah. Hallelujah. You could eat the food and you could be recharged. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. 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 Just talking about that picture, the prophet said, the first time I ever seen him, he looked like the head of Hoffman. That's right. Hallelujah. Amen. He tells us when he was a young person, amen. I'd never seen that before. In this Sunday's tabernacle, years later, I saw it. My house has never been without one. Amen. That's why we keep these as memorials. Amen. Amen. We don't worship them, but we are keeping them as memorials. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And here in the skies. Hallelujah. In those skies, in that picture. Hallelujah. Saying that the very God that I saw up in that this vision, how did they? It was at the picture. Hallelujah. Just a little boy out there. But where his schoolhouse stands, he looked like that. Amen. And here they have 33 years later declared that's the truth. That the way it looks, not some mystic something of somebody's idea. Mm. Amen. Amen. They've taken that picture of Wolfman, hallelujah, and then they've put it together, hallelujah, so that it can illustrate much more. Can you bring the next picture to my, to my sister? Amen. Hallelujah. There it looks, hallelujah. Wolfman being put, there you can see as if it is the face of Jesus Christ. Amen. Mm. Let me say it again so that you might get it quite clear. The prophet, when he was five years, 33 years before this happened, amen, he was out praying for his father, amen, just a few meters away from his house, hallelujah. And while he was praying for his father, hallelujah, he saw a vision of the Lord, amen. And the vision of the Lord was the Lord's state, amen. And he, could, he was a bit puzzled. And then when, the, when he, he wanted to, to see him, so he was going like this. And he was trying to see what he was going to say, oh, how can I see him? And then when he said Jesus, he changed his face. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Jesus will take. Hallelujah. When he called out the name of Jesus, he will take. Hallelujah. And when he changed, he saw that image. Hallelujah. And he didn't know what it is. Amen. But it stuck as an imprint in his mind. Hallelujah. Then years later, he called him to believe that this. Amen. And then he sees Christ often in the picture. Yeah. Then he takes his mind when, when he saw the picture, yeah. and he sees this picture, he says it almost looked like the same. Yeah. Now, often the head of Christ was an artist, hallelujah, who got an inspiration to draw the picture. Amen. Yeah. He was not there in the days of Jesus Christ, amen. Yeah. But he drew the picture, and it almost looks like that, amen. Yeah. And when the prophet says it almost looks like it's not like that, almost, hallelujah. Yeah. He says, I've never heard. I've always had this in my house. Amen. Amen. Yeah. And if they say to the married couples, you should also have it in your house. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. 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 You went into another woman's 
Hati chemema zvuma, hallelujah. And she was a, she was having a, a son that was sick, hallelujah. When the prophets, when the, when the plane landed, hallelujah. And when that plane landed, hallelujah, the spirit of the Lord led him to Hati Jemima's house. Amen. And when he got in that house, there were several things in there, but there was this picture. Amen. Of men's head of Christ in there. Yeah. Hallelujah. It is not in these days when you go into Christmas home, you see Mrs. whatever, Mrs. Wald, Mrs. I naked woman on the walls yeah. of young people's bedrooms. Yeah. Take those away. Amen. Amen. Yeah. These days you might not even have them on your walls, they are on your tablet. Yeah. You go on those with those on those the iPads and the tablets, you look on those sites that are dead and filthy. But if you have these pictures, hallelujah. They create an atmosphere. Amen. They create a nepotence, hallelujah, of what God has done. That nepotence is a memorial of what God has done in his life, hallelujah. Amen. Even now, when something happens and you get it, we'll give a picture of it as a memorial. Amen. Something that remembers, hallelujah, what God has done, hallelujah. Amen. So when the prophet saw this picture, hallelujah, then when this vision appears, hallelujah, and he sees this cloud, amen, and then he's told to turn it to the right. And then he turns into the head, bring the other picture, and I says, Hallelujah. The picture, the black and white one, Hallelujah. I love the original one, Hallelujah. The one, the next one, Hallelujah. When he turns it to the right, Hallelujah, it's almost like this one. You can almost see as if there are eyes. You can almost see as if there's a nose. You can almost see as if he's looking down, Hallelujah. Change says, Come unto me, all you that live. Hallelujah. And I'll give you this, Hallelujah. And there's a light today, Hallelujah. Which you can take. Amen. Amen. Glory to Almighty God. Amen. I want to take you somewhere. Amen. Can you give us the scripture? 2 Corinthians. Verse chapter 4. Now I was in Norway the last time I was there. We met a preacher there from, from uh, Jeffersonville. Amen. Hallelujah. And he read the scripture. It, just, it, is, it inspired. I've never seen it. Hallelujah. And I want to share that scripture with you. Amen. Mm -hmm. 2 Corinthians chapter 4. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's start from verse 1, maybe. Amen. So that we get the context there of Amen. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of our Lord. Amen. Glory to Almighty God. Hallelujah. Therefore, say that we have this ministry. This ministry. Hallelujah. In this day, this ministry. Hallelujah. If we have received mercy, we faith not. Amen. Amen. But we have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty, not walking in craftiness, nor hating the word of God. It free. But by the manifestation of the truth, commenting ourselves in every man's conscience in the sight of God. Yeah. That's why you come to church, yeah. so that we see one another. Yeah. And then your faith is commented in every man's face, hallelujah, in the sight of God. In our conscience, we say our brothers in the faith, our sisters in the faith. Amen. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. In whom the God of this world, okay, of this world, is blind the minds of them which believe not. Let the light hallelujah, of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is in the image, should shine upon them. It is hidden from them so that the light will not shine upon them. Because they are unbelievers. Amen. Let's go on to the next scripture. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to my confession. Amen. Just wait to move. We move. For we preach not ourselves, but Christ Jesus the Lord, and ourselves your servants for Christ's sake. Amen? Amen. For God who commanded the light to shine out of darkness at the beginning, when he said, let the light, when it was darkness. Amen? And the light came. Amen? Amen. He shines in our hearts to give us the light of the knowledge of God, of the glory of God. In the face of Jesus Christ. Amen. In the face of Jesus Christ. Amen. In the face, hallelujah, when he came down, hallelujah. In that face when he came down, in Revelation chapter 10, hallelujah, verse 1, to fulfill in 1963, captured by the people of God, being taken ten your picture to the right, and you can see as if their eyes, and you can see the face of God. In that face, hallelujah, we've been promised, hallelujah, 
He shall be bitter in thy belly, but sweet in thy mouth. Hallelujah. And when he died and went and took the book, hallelujah, it was sweet in my mouth, but bitter in my belly. Hallelujah. And then, verse 11, hallelujah. And thou shalt prophesy again before many nations, tongues, and nations. Hallelujah. What is that? I'm on Revelation chapter 10 now. Hallelujah. What is that? Hallelujah. The eating of the book. Amen. Amen. The glory of the Lord coming down. Amen. Amen. God himself bringing back. Hallelujah. That if you eat, you are discharged. Amen. Amen. If you eat, you have the same energy. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Under this message is where the eat is needed. Amen. But it is revealed unto them in simplicity. Amen. Amen. As we are eating now, hallelujah, we can receive the word of God, hallelujah. As we are eating now, you can have the same power, the same miraculous. Amen. Amen. Glory to Almighty God. Amen. Did you know that when Elijah came as a messenger, the Elijah, the testified, Amen. What he himself was saying was equal to was equal to what God is saying. Amen. Amen. He was a messenger. Hallelujah. Amen. And his message with him was one. Yes. And it was one with the word of God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. When Jesus Christ was here, he himself was equal to God. Amen. Amen. But he humbled himself. Hallelujah. Unto them, so that he would not be revealed to them. Hallelujah. But he was equal to God. Amen. Mm -hmm. Then Father that sent him and him with one. Mm -hmm. Amen. And even the message that he had was one with him. Mm -hmm. Amen. The word of God that came to the messenger of our day. And the message that he has proclaimed is one. And given the word of God. Amen. Amen. So what he says in the message and what we believe is the same thing. Amen. 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 Now he says, the words that I do shall you do also. Hallelujah. He was saying, when you ask me my name, I will do it. Amen. This is Christ himself. Hallelujah. He said the same thing to you. Hallelujah. That you greater works than this shall you do. Amen. Amen. Because I go to the Father. Amen. Amen. Greater in quantity. Why? Because there are now more Amen. of you who that have been full up with the church. Hallelujah. Of the Holy Ghost. Amen. 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 As we stand upon our feet. Brother, sister, I want you to, I want you to take note. I can't hear myself. I want you to take note. Hallelujah. Glory to Almighty God. Amen. Amen. I want you to take note. Hallelujah. That whatever was in God, Hallelujah, was put into Jesus Christ. Amen. And whatever was in Jesus Christ has been put into you. Amen. In the same planet. Amen. In the same power. Amen. In the same search. In the same say. In the same power. That he himself has it. Amen. Amen. Whatever you desire, when you pray, believe, Amen. and you shall have it. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And whatever you shall ask in my name, I will do it. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. What is Christ trying to show you to you? That the same God that created heaven and the earth and the things they eat is now living in you. Amen. Amen. He's got the same power. You've been searched now, hallelujah, with the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. You've been eating, hallelujah, and you're now full with the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. But what are you going to do with that power? Sure. How are you going to receive, hallelujah, and use the power that is in you? This food that you have been eating is got so full of the vitamins of God. What are you going to do with it? When you see your neighbor that is sick, when you see your brother that is in sin, hallelujah, are you going to go after them? Or are you going to see, say, ah, I'll be such a fact. Never exercise your faith, amen. Faith without works is dead, amen. amen. You need to prove that you have got the faith by the works that you do, amen. amen. Hallelujah. Yes. God is, it's okay now, God is good to show forth that you are of the faith, amen. amen. By the vindication of your faith that you believe in the confirmation of it, what you have seen the Holy Ghost and the signs and wonders follow me that you have given us. So that's the gift commission. Amen. Amen. Go into all the world and they that you believe shall be baptized. Amen. Amen. And these signs shall follow them that believe. 
Amen. In my name, they shall cast out demons. Yes. Amen. Yes. They shall speak with new tongues. Hallelujah. Yes. 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 They shall train up the dead things and shall not harm them. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. Confirmation. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. It's not that we are following those things. We have already received Christ. Yes. We have already received the Holy Ghost. Yes. But the Holy Ghost comes to confirm yes. that we are charged up at the good age. Yes. surrendering everything to you, oh God. We've been eating the word, oh God, all these years, and even on this A's conference, we've been eating and eating and eating, but what good does it help us, oh God, if we are not, oh God, put into exercise, if we are not telling our neighbors, if we are not telling anybody, oh God, all of us here are guilty. Heavenly Father, we are all guilty before you, and Father, the best thing we can say, oh God, forgive us, oh Lord, have mercy upon us, yes, Lord Jesus. Lord. Have mercy, Father, for doing nothing about it. Oh, Father, there was a woman in the Bible one time, and she was a prostitute. But one day she came in the presence of God, and she began to feed by that well. She began to feed and feed and feed. And after feeding, she went around, oh God, and began to use that energy. And she told the whole city, and all the men, and all the women in the city, came back to Jesus. And they said, we believe, not because she has told us, but we believe now because we have seen these things. Help us, Father, to come, Lord Jesus, to use that energy, to take that energy there and to bring our brothers and to bring our sisters, even all those people who have basically done it. Oh, Father, let us not be like the prodigal son's father. Heavenly Father, who was not concerned about his brother. Heavenly Father, when the brother came back, he was angry that the brother came back. Oh, Father, and he said, why have you killed a big beast for this brother? But Lord, all this time, he never even went for his brother. He never, he was getting fed at the house, but he was not willing to use that energy. Help us, oh God, to use this energy, even to go for our lost brothers, even for those who are now on this the tapes on it. Help us, Father, to go for them, Lord, and show them that the original way is the best. The spoken word is the original sin. Help us, oh God, to be able to show them the light. Help us, Father, to utilize that energy. Help us, oh God. Thank you for such a wonderful message. The Heavenly Father, it's too low that if we don't feed, it compromises our immune system. That's why, Father, the people suffer from more nutrition. And any small disease can just come to them. Even a little cough can come to them because they are not eating. Lord, a little cough can come. A little headset can come. A little temper can come because we are not feeding. Lord, even the Lord Jesus Christ, 
enough to eat. One day he called his son and see him. And he was hungry because he wanted to eat. And he cursed it because it was not producing food. Heavenly Father, even the Lord Jesus Christ, spiritually speaking, if he wanted, was supposed to eat, what about us, Lord? We are not supermen. Help us to take this message seriously. Oh God, what a message, Lord, that we need to feed on the word. Help us this our Lord Jesus Christ. Help us, oh God Almighty, to use that energy. Heavenly the natural. Heavenly for the Thomas. Heavenly for the even if we don't eat, if we eat and don't exercise. Heavenly Father, you're going to suffer with diabetes. You're going to suffer with a lot of sicknesses. Yes. But the only way that we can counter like that is when you begin to exercise. Father, we know the natural type of spiritual. Heavenly Father, if we just eat and eat and eat, we become less Christians. Yes. Help us, oh God, from this hour. Help us, oh Lord Jesus Christ, Father, to break that energy and to use it for your glory. Help us, oh Father, to tell our neighbors. Help us, oh Father, to go into hospitals, to pray for the sick. Help us, oh God, to utilize that energy. We are killed. This afternoon, may you forgive each and every one of us. May you forgive me. May you forgive everybody here, Lord. We are all guilty. May you have mercy on us. May you have mercy on us, O oh God. Father, the people out there, they know nothing about the word. Who is going to tell them if we're just sitting at home and doing nothing? Every time we're going to church, fitting, 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 and we're not using that word. How will they know about it? For us to be here in this church, to be this message, somebody told us. Somebody stepped out of the way to tell us. But how come we are not doing the same thing? How come we are not doing the same thing? Somebody left his home and his comfort to come and tell us and introduce this message to us. Why are we not telling other people? In fact, we are just sitting down and we are just eating and eating. Lord, may you forgive us this afternoon. May you have mercy on us, Lord Jesus. May you pardon us, Lord Jesus Christ. We are wrong, Lord. We are wrong and we are asking you this hour to have mercy on each and every one of us, Lord. Oh, Father, we are standing, Lord, together. And we are saying, Lord, we are guilty. Forgive us, Lord. And from this time, Lord Jesus, we are aiming to be better. By your grace, Father, may you give us the strength and the action to be able to take this message out there. Give us that burden for the lost souls. Father, you told us in the prophet, and the prophet says, if a church has got no burden for the lost souls, shut up, it's good for nothing. Help us, O oh God Almighty, to use that energy. Lord, the prophet says, Lord, God loves to use our mouth. He doesn't have feet, he loves to use our feet. How can you use our feet when we are just coming to church and feeding one away and sitting and not doing anything about it? We are guilty, Lord. If somebody had to tell us, we also have to tell other people. Because Christianity is not living for yourself. It's living for someone. They help us, Lord Jesus, this afternoon to be people who are concerned not about feeding themselves only, but when they feed, they need to know why God is feeding them. To take that word out there, to go and pray for the sick, to go and cast out demons, to exercise our faith. If we are not exercising our faith, then our faith is good for nothing. Help us all God this afternoon. Heavenly Father, to take this faith and spread it all over the place. Yeah. We are guilty this afternoon. We are guilty and hurt from your throne. And oh God, we are asking you to forgive us. May you have mercy on us this afternoon, Lord. May you have mercy, Lord Jesus. Mercy, Lord. Mercy, mercy, Lord Jesus Christ. We are all guilty, Lord. We are all guilty. We are fallen short. And we are asking, oh God, for your forgiveness. We are guilty of coming to church. Hearing the word even today, the word has been preached. Tomorrow, what are we doing about it? We're doing nothing. Oh God, may you forgive us. May you forgive us, Lord. Help us, oh God Almighty. Help us, Lord Jesus. We know, Lord, that even the story of those stewards, you were expecting a, a, a something to come out of it. You gave them those talents so that they can be able to bring something out of it. And every one of us, Lord, has got talents here. And when you come, you are expected to find what they produce with that talent. Help us, oh God, to realize that we are stewards of this kingdom.
Lord. To help us, Lord, we're not just here to feed, but to go and make converts out there. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord Jesus. The prophet says, and the name of the Lord, the prophet says, any man that comes in the presence of God is responsible from that time to tell someone else. Help us, oh God. If we don't tell people, are we that we're not in, we're not in the presence of God? Help us, Lord. Even oh God, the disciples, one by one, they were coming. And each time the other brother will come and then call and call and call his brother. And then this one will go and call that one. They realized, oh God, why God it was feeding them. It was to take that word and tell it to someone. What are we doing when you forgive us, Lord? We are all guilty, Lord Jesus. We are all guilty this afternoon. Forgive us, Father. Have mercy on each and every one of us. We have failed you, Lord, and knowing such a great thing as this message that God sent us a light and a prophet in this age, and yet we're not doing anything about it. Just as Jonah knew that judgment was coming in 40 days, he was not willing to tell someone about it. He did not want to go and warn the people. He wanted to escape to Tashish, despite knowing that the world was going to end. 40 days, that sort of, the city of Nineveh was going to be destroyed. And Jonah was saying, I'm not going. Though we know about all these coming judgments, the messenger came and revealed all these things to us. And though we see what's happening right now in Russia, and we know what's happening, the Lord doesn't know what's happening. Jonah knew what was happening. That judgment was about to come in 40 days. But he was not willing to go and take that word out there. Until God had to raise a well. Lord, please don't raise a well for us. We are submitting our wills right now. We are becoming prisoner, Lord. We don't do what we want from now on. We want to do to please you. We want to be real prisoners of the cross. Heavenly Father, we want to be real prisoners. We know that when we are prisoners, we don't do what we desire or what we want, but we do what the Master wants. Help us, Lord Jesus Christ, to be real prisoners. We are submitting our will to you, Lord, because we now want to be prisoners. We were bought with a price, which means we don't own ourselves. There is somebody who owns us. And from this hour, Lord, we are surrendering and we are saying, Lord, whatever you send us, we will go. Whatever you say, go, we will go. Whatever you lead us, we will lead us. Help us, Lord. If bless us. If bless you, Lord. Even John alone, when you are revealing these things to him, it was you and John alone. And you were telling John that judgment is coming. Judgment is coming. You knew about the seven seals. You knew everything about those three few things. You were just revealing these things to John alone. There was no one there. Just like you revealed all these things to the prophet. We know all these things. We know what's happening in America. We know what's going to happen. Those people out there in Nineveh, they did not know anything. They didn't even know that judgment was coming in 40 days. They knew nothing. And they were relying on Jonah. And Jonah went away. Lord, help us not to be like that. Help us, Father, to take this message to the people. When people see Russia, they are laughing and saying, Russia, they don't understand what's happening. But we in the message know what's happening to Russia. Why these things are going this way? They don't know nothing about it. Even this cloud that brother was talking about. Mm. No one knows what it's about. Mm. But the Bible tells us when you see the sign of the Son of Man yeah. in the clouds with great glory, know that your redemption is true now. Yeah. They know nothing about it. Yeah. But the people who know it are sitting down there doing nothing. Help us all God and we are guilty, we are guilty, we are guilty. Yeah. We know what that cloud means. When they see it even in our house when they visit they know nothing about it, but we don't even bother to explain to them. Help us from now on to explain. When you see the Son of Man come in the cloud with glory and power, know that redemption is drawing near. It's not a redemption, but it's drawing near. Help us, Lord. We don't want you to use a way or situation to drive us. Help us, Lord. We don't want you to be willing servants of God. We are guilty, Father. Pray that you may bless our brother Luke. Yeah, the word is spoken to me tremendously. Amen. And I want to appreciate you this hour. 
We want to appreciate you all for speaking to us in such a way. We want to raise our elements and our women and our clapping and say, I thank you, Lord Jesus. We want to thank you, Lord God, for your mercy. We want to thank you, Father, for your grace this afternoon. Father, we are confessing that we are wrong. And we remember, Lord, Ezekiel. We remember, Lord God Almighty, Isaiah. He confessed that there was a man of unclean lips. And after confessing, then the power of God came down. Forgive us, for we are confessing right now. We are guilty as guilty as touched. Forgive us, oh Father. We are willing, Lord, give us one more chance. Just one more chance, Lord Jesus. Give us one more chance. Just as you tell Samson, give us one more chance, Lord. We are going to carry this message. How can we hear from the throne of God and just sit? The kings, and even the team's drop needs, needs a quick decision. Amen. Help us, oh God Almighty. Hallelujah. We want to thank you, Father, for your grace. We want to thank you for this meeting. We want to thank you, oh God Almighty, for such a message in true season. Amen. Heavenly Father, help us. That we can't just come to this convention and feed and feed and feed. And after feeding now, we don't do nothing about it. Amen. No wonder, oh God, our spiritual life is stagnant. Mm -hmm. No wonder there is no testimony in our lives. Mm -hmm. No wonder there is nothing showing in our lives because we are just feeding. Mm -hmm. And feeding. Yes. And feeding. Mm -hmm. And only know how to cut things and cut, cut, cut. But help us, Lord God Almighty, Amen. to utilize that energy Amen. and go and spread it to our brothers. Amen. Go and tell somebody else, our neighbors. Amen. Go and tell even our workmates. Help us wherever we go, Father. Help us to be able to tell somebody. Amen. And even in the past when we sit next to anybody, let that be the thing that is in our mind. Just to tell somebody about Jesus. Amen. Just to tell somebody about the oncoming judgment. Oh, yes. Just to take this word out there and tell someone else. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Help us to feed on the word. Amen. You have lifted me today, Lord Jesus. Amen. And I just want to thank you, Lord God Almighty. Amen. And we realize, Lord Jesus, that if you don't eat, your immune system will become compromised. Amen. Little disease will begin to jump on you because you are not eating. You will not be able to resist the devil. Amen. Anything small comes, it takes you because you've got no natural resistance anymore. Yes, because you are not eating. Help us, Father, to eat. The prophet said there is something about eating. As the brother was repeating that statement, I said, let me just check it in the, in the, in the, in the paper. And I saw the prophet said there is something about eating together, even. Amen. Even eating together. Heavenly Father, it strengthened us. So we want to thank you, oh God, for your mercy this afternoon. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Let us let's, let's worship you. Amen. Let us say hallelujah. Amen. Let us say glory to God. Amen. Let us put up our feet in praise. I just feel like sin. I don't sin, but I feel like sin. Praise him.
status and I say no 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 I always enjoy what he puts on his whatsapp status Amen. and I always enjoy what he preaches uh, you know what there is something in the name he is called Luke Luke is detailed you go to your bible Luke is detailed Amen. God bless you, saints. I won't take much of the time. I'll leave this time to the people that would want to announce uh, our next services and um, organization of things. God bless you. As we sing this song, let's sing this song. Uh, there's a precious hiding place in Jesus' side. A precious hiding place. Hey, there's a precious hiding place. There's a precious hiding place. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. Jesus, Hallelujah. Praise the 
so good to hear. Feel why like an eternity. We can carry on and carry on and continue with the revival, but we'll take a short break. How many appreciate the preaching of the word this morning? The sound is special. It's good to be here. It's good. The days run so quick. We're already on our fifth day. We're only left with two services. So we have a lot of people overshot this morning, but it's good. We are going for lunch, for a break now for two hours. And uh, between now we eat. If you want to go to town, McDonald's or somewhere nearby, or if you are going to the dining room, uh, they are ready for us. They've been ready for us from quarter to one. Uh, they are already ready. They are waiting for us 10 minutes. Uh, those who are devastating, if you are not eating the dining room, they actually had coffee and tea for us. And uh, look at brother. Yeah, the back. Can you lift up the plate you have? So the Davis, because we are not coming to the dining room, there is something for you, but uh, I think the coffee machine has been switched off now. Uh, but you can have, uh, oh yeah, you can have uh, uh, cold water, there's a water point outside, and uh, maybe go nearby where you can have something warm. But there's some eats at the back. So we will be having a married people's meeting at 3 o'clock in the room upstairs, the married people. If you are concerned, you want us to discuss about marriage issues, we meet at three o'clock upstairs uh, in room number eight. Uh, for those who are here, the children and everybody, uh, I think we are not having another youth meeting. This afternoon, I think Brother Gerald and them had a good round yesterday. So what we'll do at three o'clock for all those who are a bit elderly, the senior citizens, you can rest in your rooms and prepare a long stay meeting in the evening. We have a minister who has been flying from last, from yesterday, uh, Pastor Robert Champande. He'll be preaching at 7 o'clock. we we'll start the service at 7 o'clock. So it's a long stay meeting. We don't want the Holy Ghost to do it. It's our last night here. So we will yield to the Holy Ghost. You'll be preaching at 7 o'clock. So uh, at 3 o'clock, while the mothers and uh, parents are talking upstairs, the young people would like you here, uh, instead of just loitering around, uh, if you can come here uh, and press play. We would like to listen to a short message, Azusa Jubilee, I think brother, uh, from uh, 3 o'clock, it's about 40 minutes, 3 to 3.40, you have a, a voice of the prophet. You eat here a little bit. So from after you finish, then you can have a sing along. I think we have singers here, Brother Devon uh, is well acquainted. You can organize the young people for singing, sing along, and have time to sing. And the singers, if the others want to come here for a sing along, after we press play, after we hear a little portion from the prophet Azusa Jubilee. Amen. Then we'll have our meeting. Uh, if you have sick people want to be prayed for, we have got Brother Robert Chumpande who will be praying here, preaching here. Is a gifted minister uh, with a gift of knowledge, a gift of discernment, a gift of the Holy Spirit, which has been proven over and over the world over. Where he has gone to minister, he has ministered several times in our church, and the Lord uses him. So if you have got a condition, maybe you want the Holy Spirit to pick it up and tell you what to do, you can be prayed for this evening. And you'll be here today and tomorrow. And if you want a private interview with him, you'll be available also here tonight and tomorrow. So prepare for a good time. So God bless you. Uh, I didn't introduce properly this young man who led out the songs. Please stand up, uh, Brother Joseph, like, like, like my young brother. <laughs> Let me tell you a little history about him. His elder brothers, Elisha and Agri. We were at the same boys' high school. I went to Form 1, and his elder brother called Elisha was in Form 3. And then his elder brother called Agri was in Form 1, he was my age. So we were together day one, Form 3, and this Agri, I, we clicked immediately, we became friends with Agri, his brother, elder brother. So he was uh, 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 sleeping near me, and we became friends. And then he had an elder brother, so all the bullying which other the boys wanted to do me because they couldn't now because I was related. I was a friend of Agri and Elisha was our big brother. So I would tell all the boys, these are my young boys, me and Agri. 
So we became friends up to the time of all our high school. We are always together with his friend, with his elder brother. And his elder brother at Form 3, he packed his bags to go join the Liberation War. And I escorted Agri because he was my friend. But my father had told me not to go to war, to become a soldier boy. So I told Agri, you go. If my father had not told me we are going to hold hands and we are going to be comrades in arms. So I escorted him a good two kilometers and he went back to, he went to the bush to fight. And he came back. Now what happened when I started working in Harare? I know I didn't know uh, 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 Brother Joseph very much because he was younger to me. And uh, then my two young brothers, Patrick and Sid, they clicked, they met, <laughs> they were the same age, and they started playing together, and they received the message, him, and my two young brothers, and Pastor Joshua Agana in Harare, in Bindura, they became Christians, they received this message, and I saw a change in this young man and my young brothers and they began testifying to me about the message of the hour and that had an influence in me receiving the message so I am eternally grateful to you brother Joseph <laughs> we call him going we call him going <laughs> I used to visit them before I received the message because we had the same school as brother I would travel from New Orleans to Watomba on foot and I would spend some day with them at their house with his elder brother, because his elder brother was a senior already in school. We had the same boys' school, and I finished with them. And before sunset, I walked back to my home area. So I was really, I knew his mother, I knew their people, they were friends, and we were connected again in the message of the hour. So I was so happy when he ministered to us uh, in singing, and you do that uh, again this evening, uh, and you'll be helped with our other singers, our leaders there. Brother, uh, brother Austin Ikana and our precious brother, uh, who is the other brother? Yes, brother Azam from Norway. Amen. Amen. They will be helping each other, but he will be the lead song leader uh, today and tomorrow. Amen. Hallelujah. They will help each other. We know song leaders want to use them. So they will change the marks wherever necessary and work together. God bless you all, so we meet again. Uh, of course, Brother Gerald will be the minister in charge this evening, so at the spirit leads. But God bless you. Take a short break. And uh, if you want to take a short siesta after eating, uh, prepare for the night. It was last night, so we want to absorb and soak in as much as we can. We want to soak in until our battery is saying, uh, fully charged, uh, remove it, the plug. Fully charged, remove it from the plug now. Fully charged, otherwise it will best. That was the best. We want everybody to be fully charged. God bless you. As we dismiss our day, I'm sure the singers will give us some. Uh, hand over to the singers to dismiss us. God bless you. Thank you. 